how this uh, resonates I want to talk about the past about uh, four to five months I've been using it. Um, to start with, this machine actually switches on within a matter of about 30 35 seconds. That's I feel it's a good thing. Uh, and also shuts down within about 30 35 seconds. So, like you are in a busy center, you are about to leave at 9 o'clock at night, suddenly a patient comes up. You know, you know that like before the patient get uh, dressed down and ready for the scan, you can actually switch on the machine and start scanning. So that's one good thing which I like it. The other thing is about it is the scanning with the 3.5 hour that's the usual abdominal flow. Almost all of the time, you will be able to see the entire liver without much effort so because there is no uh, focus in this machine. You don't have to actually focus on certain areas or zone sonography. Um, the, everything is focused with that zone app technology, so you will see the entire liver without much effort. So that's one thing which I found very useful. In case if the patient has got a lot of fatty infiltration, you can cannot see the diaphragm. Then there is a simple touch which increases the frequency and increases the Depth, so you can see the entire liver quite easily on So that's one thing which I find is uh, very useful. You don't have to adjust your focus and things like that. Just a click of a button, it gives penetration, it gives resolution, and it gives this balance between the two aspects. The other thing is that the resolution is quite good. The Doppler is effortless. You just click on, you actually sometimes get too much of uh, blood flow into thyroid and things like that. So, so you can get easily the Doppler and adjustments is also quite easy on. And the liver elastography it has got both the ST and STQ. So we have done it in few patients and we find it very useful. It gives um, an automated tabular column at the end of it as a report. So you can save that as well and you can incorporate as part of your report quite easily. And the other thing is it comes with the 22 megahertz high frequency flow for some of my musculoskeletal work. And this is, uh, this is as good as a, I guess, uh, a hockey stick probe, except that the shape is slightly different. And uh, this is useful for all the small parts, even the finger vessels are seen without much effort. And the top level uses is quite good. Uh, surprisingly, the, the area which covers with the wider uh, width also has got this uh, unique vector flow imaging which is there only in two machines around the hall. Um, the use of this is still on the research side but one thing which we found is that particularly in this patient has it's a large block. You can actually see the uh, eddy current formation just off of the block with the swirling of those uh, blood vessels. But you can appreciate it better in, uh, in this type of arrow mark display of the flow. Visually it is very pleasing, it is able to appreciate certain changes much better, probably able to demonstrate uh, to the patient or clinician what actually happens uh, with the blood flow dealing system. And it captures almost 300 or 400 frames a second. This operation is actually on think of much. One thing is maybe the freeze button is too far to the right side, so it's going to be a little more towards that um, uh, towards the rotating knob. Maybe uh, for this machine, it would have had some other things like you know, post processing of the Doppler information uh, would have been good. Maybe two comments. So, overall, I'm reasonably quite happy with this uh, machine.